So we got someone from Australia coming today. We've got, you know, we got quite a few people now already. We just give another couple of minutes for everyone else to turn up and then we will be rocking and rolling. Currently 25 participants. So just let's say about an extra one or two minutes and then we'll basically get on with the presentation. Just for well, just a couple of swigs of a, a name branded soft drink, which I've chosen to have today. <laughs> right. So we've got people from all over the world. I don't know whether any of you have got um, Miramate products already, whether you're interested in the range, where you stand on your journey. But hopefully we'll be able to clear up some key issues in terms of how you perceive the technology and what it's used, what it's used for in general. Today we're going to focus on the PEMF technology. That's Pulsed Electromagnetic Field. And this is uh, an amazing technology. It's got lots of historical associations when it comes to uh, human medicine, uh, veterinary medicine, and you know, animals themselves are not as suggestive as humans. So when they get better, as a result of receiving PEMF treatments, we know full well that it's the PEMF which is doing it. Okay, does that make sense? Right, so up to 28 participants, let's um, start rocking and rolling. So what is PEMF? It's used in practice by people who have a wide variety of conditions because it's generally useful for the body. Okay, it helps to bring your body and your cells back up into a state of better wellness in its own right. Typically speaking, people focus on pain management and tissue and bone healing because it speeds up the process of your, your own body doing the healing work. That's why PEMF is quite so useful and quite so powerful. Uh, often people who have sciatica, like myself, knee pain, like myself, injury healing is something that's often used. I do get injuries occasionally, not frequently, but occasionally, and generally boosting the body's own healing mechanisms. So you may be using it to treat for one thing, but hey, presto, something else might start to get better as well as you're going through the process. Hypothetically, it depends upon what's going on within your body at the time, what your disease condition is, what's causing it, and so on and so forth. And also what else is going on inside the body and how that is going to be influenced by the general wholesome healing energy of the PEMF. It is used on thoroughbred racehorses. Okay, and I'm going to show you an image of that shortly. Because people who are involved in the equine world invest a lot of money in their animals, all right? These are creatures that go racing. There's tons of money which is spent at the bookies. There's tons of money which is spent on the maintenance of the animal. They make sure they select the best genetics for the, you know, for that particular race to go as far as they can. And so therefore they also use PEMF in order to help reduce the injuries, uh, which are sustained from very exhausting running. And also, it's regarded as beneficial due to the frequency and the alternating magnetic polarity. There is a real history here. There is real science here. It's not just some kind of new age hippie rubbish, okay? This is stuff which actually does stuff something to the body. So here we have an image on the right-hand side. I hope you can see that. Of a rather large PEMF coil, uh, an electromagnetic coil, basically which is designed for the equine industry. And this just goes to show you how this is used in practice today so that people who are an investment in their racehorses can actually do something to help the creature heal. So why not use the same technology yourself to assist your own body in its repair and uh, you know detoxification processes and all the rest of that that's needed for general wellness? Why not? What's, what, what would be wrong with you yourself guessing the same technology for your human body? Okay, so now we're actually going to look at the two main PEMF devices, which is on offer by Miramate, which is a division of Spooky 2. Okay, the Mini Magic is small. It deals with localized issues and is usually advised for acute issues. Okay, so it's not necessarily something which is like a long term, very serious whole body problem. But the big magic, on the other hand, is for chronic conditions. The word chronic means going on forever, going on for a long period of time. 
and also for larger areas of the body, more generalized areas, and therefore providing a boost to healing. Now, if you don't have any serious chronic condition already, you may still think about getting a big magic because you want to improve your body's ability to fight off disease and infection and to go through repair faster than using other methods. So there is essentially a, a use for the big magic, even if you're well. And it's always useful to have a mini magic for when you do get your sprains and your breaks, for when you do get issues associated with your sciatica, your hernia and all these things. It's worthwhile looking into how this technology could be useful to yourself. Now, the mini magic can be used in different ways. It comes with two single coils or two quad coils, which is like four single coils in a square, okay? And they can tackle a larger area. But you can also stack those coils in a certain way in order to have more body penetration of the PEMF magnetic field in order to get deeper into the body if required. So you have to know how deep in the body the problem is, how deep you want the healing to go to work out what is the best arrangement. And I will show you an image of that later on as we go through the presentation. And of course, the big magic has a large mat and the mat is essentially the whole PEMF device. So it covers a large area of the body and you can sleep on it. So you can have it set on your favorite chair or on your office chair and just let it do its work whilst you're working at the computer when you're having a good night's sleep, whatever it is you prefer. You might even want to get two, one for the bed and one for your office chair, depends upon your needs and requirements. So if you're thinking about what product to choose or what product to use, if you've got both of them in stock at the moment, if it's acute and localized, mini magic, if it is chronic or generalized location in the body, then you need to go for big magic, okay? Mini magic for acute and localized, big magic for everything else. Does that make sense? So now let's have a look at the actual science, all right? The actual facts of what PEMF therapy can actually do for you and how useful it can be when thinking about uh, general healing of your body and tackling specific issues. It does enhance the body's natural recovery process. It corrects cellular dysfunction throughout the body. So if the cells aren't communicating right, the cells have got toxic buildup, this can help to do things which can be useful for that. It stimulates and exercises cells and recharges them because there's an electrostatic uh, energy you know, involving chemistry and um, electrolytes and all kinds of stuff in the cells. And using the PEMF can stimulate and exercise the cells. It gives patients more energy naturally. So if you're someone who has low energy, you may feel a bit of a boost if you were to use the PEMF big magic mats every night when you're in bed. Improves athletic performance, okay? Top, uh, top quality athletes use PEMF alongside other technology in order to improve their performance and to recover after exercise, workout, or indeed a big competition. It reduces inflammation and pain. Again, athletes would want to use this. Anyone out there who's interested in bodybuilding, weightlifting, then you'll want to be interested in PEMF. Also, if you're like me and you've reached middle age and you get inflammation and you get pain, then essentially going for PEMF is a good idea. Chronic inflammation in joints is also a, a, something that can be used for. Chronic fatigue symptoms, or indeed chronic fatigue, fatigue syndrome itself, it can be useful for that. Now, I want to add a bit of a, kind of like a disclaimer at that point, because chronic fatigue can have lots of different forms of causes. And so you'll still need to do all kinds of other things to address those causes, as well as use your PEMF. But if you're going to use uh, your, your PEMF, take it seriously all the time. It's not a question of using it once and thinking, I don't feel better the next morning. It has to be used subsequently over time because essentially it, the body needs a lot of work doing to it. And therefore, you have to do the best you can with what you've got. There's also people who've got problems with their nerves, peripheral neuropathy, because the nerves aren't I don't know, connecting or communicating properly. And therefore, you can do a bit of regrowth there. Uh, osteoporosis. I know that's a bit of a, a staggering one. Like we consider our bones to be static, but they are actually living tissue. 
And living tissue requires things which can help it to heal. And so if you've got weakened bones, use your PEMF, and it could help those bones to get that little bit stronger, making the issues of uh, disease or breakages much less likely to happen. And of course, if you get wounds, get your PEMF out. Traditionally, people try and use this for things like ankles, back, elbow, hips, knees, and shoulder. These are the obvious things. But there's nothing to say you couldn't use PEMF on different areas of the body for different things, just to see what happens. As I say, if it's used on racehorses in various different parts of the body, the neck, the shoulder, the joints, or whatever, then why should you use it on various different areas of your body that requires work? And if you do it in a sufficiently disciplined pattern over time and work out how the body's responding, you'll then be able to move closer to getting a better quality of results. Obviously, the big magic covers a large area and therefore restoring natural cellular healthy function, uh, as well as to keep your body in a you know, sufficiently vibrant state, it's well worthwhile using. Right, now we've got loads of testimonials. There's testimonial videos, there's testimonial texts. Go to the section on the MirrorMate website, which is called reviews, and that will show you how much people like this stuff. And these are people who've got genuine conditions, genuine problems, and they're telling you what they went through and what they did so that you can creatively and intuitively work out for yourself whether this is going to work for you and be right for you. And to the most part, after watching some of those videos, you'll be pretty convinced that there is something good about this that needs to be taken seriously. Right, so what is the difference between the PEMF that is offered by MirrorMate and those which is offered by other companies. It's how the signal is applied to the body. And that is something which I'll cover later on just to, you know, just to remind you and reiterate this, but the, the PEMF for the mini magic warms up followed by a treatment phase and then warms down then warms, warms back up again then does a treatment phase then warms down so you have to leave it on to allow it to go through that like warm up time and it will then carry on on its treatment time prior to the energy going down again so that the body can relax and recover and you'll get the best healing effect from it the PEMF is also delivered in a bi-directional manner it goes one way then it goes the other way north there south there and then south and north and south it switches over and that's important because the body won't become uh, habituated to it or indeed receive anything negative from just a one directional PEMF signal. So it takes a bit of time on one direction, it takes a bit of time on the other direction. And that means that everything will be balanced, everything will be harmonized. Balance gets restored. This therefore increases the effectiveness of the healing power. And there's something very similar to that on the big magic as well. Let's have a brief look at the specifications for mini magic. Mini magic has a square wave, and the square wave is useful because it can pump the energy into the body. Only 200 gauss, okay, because it doesn't need all that much. I'm going to mention it later on that the cells in the body are quite small, they need the right quantity and quality of power. Not too much, not too little. 9.6 cycles per second, three power levels. And I'll explain in a minute what you do with those power levels. And you can leave it on forever if you wanted to, as long as you've got the power. Okay, and you get a 12 months manufacturer warranty for the pulse unit and three months manufacturer warranty for the coils, which is a very good deal, okay? And these are the sizes of the coils. If you want to take notes, take notes now, all right? but that isn't really necessary. That's just for those people out there who need to know this stuff. Uh, now, what's in the actual box when you buy a mini magic? You get the units. You get one pair of single coils and one pair of uh, quad coils if you so choose. A coil tester, which is useful, so you know that there's actually magnetic current coming out, plus a five volt DC power adapter, and also a nice cute little velvet bag, okay? The, when you use a battery on this, it will last for about eight hours. 
All right. The Zentia 9 volt lithium battery, or indeed other forms of lithium and very good quality, I suppose, alkaline batteries, uh, would probably be better uh, because they can last longer and they're more useful. However, if you have a power bank of any description, I've got one on my desk somewhere underneath some of the various different paperwork there, you can always carry that with you and have a continual source of power. Okay, so maybe let's say you're going into a meeting for three hours, you can just use the battery power on that. And then by the time you got back home, you can then plug yourself into a power bank, let's say. So that would actually work as a method to achieve your 24 hour treatments. And then you can go back to battery power when your power bank is charging and so on and so forth. I hope that makes sense. Okay, now let's just have a quick look at this. It's effective, it's safe, it's relatively affordable. Okay, this is actually quite a good deal product we're talking about here. Definitely very easy to use. You can use it for all manner of stuff. And you know, once one problem is resolved, you can then use it for something else. Okay, the, in, the opportunity to use just the mini magic is pretty amazing. And also it has the portability function. It's not like a massive desktop unit, which you've got to carry on moving from room to room. You just shove the, uh, shove the mini, mini magic on your belt clip, keep the coils connected to your body, maybe using microporous tape, or indeed a, um, a stretchy band, because it you know, comes with a band depending on the kits you get. It is non-invasive and it is durable. It will last for a long time. So it's not, go you know, there's nothing going into the body it, apart from the magnetic field. So therefore that's, uh, that's a good thing. Now let's have a quick look at the big magic and what that's all about. Gives you relief from intense pain. The pain will go down. Get spasms, the spasms will go down. Improves blood circulation, which you need to heal so that uh, buildup of the products of metabolism can be taken away from the disease site, okay? As well as to bring in fresh oxygen and therefore fresh healing stuff, right? Fresh nutrition, fresh minerals, vitamins, and uh, phytonutrients, and all the other good stuff that the body requires, which means it can therefore be used to increase general well being. The metabolism increases appropriately, and your symptoms will then go down bit by bit. You get inflammation, it will go down relatively quickly by comparison with somebody who's not using PEMF. Accelerates the repair of damaged cells and tissues. So your tissues, your bodily tissues gets healthier and more uh, appropriate and balanced and positive. So if, you're, if, if your body is a bit stiff, your back's a bit stiff, maybe your yoga practice isn't working out well enough, you can enjoy greater flexibility, strength and stamina. Okay. Right. No anabolic steroids required. Okay, you get flex flexibility, strength, and stamina whilst using this, these devices, and you can feel the, the wellness increasing inside your body by comparison with what you were. It might be worthwhile having something like a notebook, and before you start using it, you, you spend maybe a few days or a week noting how you're feeling, how you're thinking, how your brain and your body is working. And then when you start using it, you add, add a new entry every few days or a week. And then you see how your healing carries on and how your improvement in mind and body carries on with the passage of time. And yes, you will wake up feeling more rested every morning as you experience less sleep disturbance because your body is receiving that extra bit of healing, that extra bit of energetic nourishment, which is going to do you some good. Okay, it's well worthwhile. It does its job. It does what it says on the tin. So again, just like with the mini magic, the Big Magic is also effective, safe, affordable, very easy to use, can be used for a wide variety of different problems, non-invasive, flexible, and durable. It's well worthwhile treating the use of the Miramates Big Magic and Mini Magic just as a lifestyle. And to keep it up bit by bit over the passage of time, because that helps you to generate more wellness and help your body to deal with any, you know, any knocks you get during the journey of life. Right, specifications for big magic. Again, square wave, 6,000 gauss, so that's more powerful for the full mass. All right, that's the magnetic strength. The intensity is about 80 gauss, but it's still powerful enough to go through into your body. 
more of a um, Schumann resonance frequency, 7.83 cycle per second, which is very good. And that's got two power levels. So that makes a lot of sense. So with big magic, you get a headache, sleep on your mat. You've had surgery, sleep on your mat. Post-trauma pain, sleep on your mat, okay? <laughs> it helps with everything. So if, you, if you've got cancer, okay, I'm not gonna turn around to you and tell you this is gonna magically make the cancer disappear. But if you've got cancer pain, as what's as going through your treatment, then it wouldn't it be worthwhile to lower that and to generally improve your body's ability to cope with the healing process you're going through. Just something else to think about. Arthritis, uh, neurogenic, and uh, also psychogenic pain. And it's been designed for long-term usage. So this is essentially the difference between what's out in the market at the moment and what we offer or what Miramate offers You've got a single gentle and healing frequency, which changes direction every 10 minutes. And because it changes direction, it'll provide more efficient healing with the passage of time. Are you with me? There's a short, sharp, square wave. So it operates appropriately for what your body requires. And it's got the 7.83 Schumann resonance frequency, which is generally very health healthy, very helpful, very balancing, very grounding, which you don't get. I mean, on the right-hand side, it points to other products which aren't mirror mates and they are same direction single pulse just a, a regular ordinary square wave uh, and it's also costs an awful lot more for what, what could theoretically or hypothetically hypothetically be called a shoddy piece of work but the mirror mate products have actually been designed properly with the body in mind in order to make sure you get the results you're after so let's have a look about how to use the mini magic. You put in the battery or you plug in the power bank. You put the coils on the appropriate parts of the body and you turn it on. That's it. Okay. And then you will be receiving the power that your body requires to help to overcome problems. With the big magic, it's very simple. Again, very, very simple. You plug it into the controller box, plug the box into the mains by some little five volts transformer thing and then you turn it on and that's it now you've got two power levels on the big magic you've got three power levels on the mini magic so you start with a higher power and then with the passage of time for maintenance you go down you know you step down so just read what's on the screen for you in front of you right now Okay, you can place it under the sheets of your bed. It's, it's long enough to cover your entire spine. So it's very good for those who have back injuries. So that's something I should be getting myself back to to look after myself even more. You can wrap it around a leg or a joint. Okay. So it really is a multifunctional device. And you can run it all day and all night if you want. And it's a, such a low power device, you don't have to worry about the um, electricity bills. I know in the UK, we're very concerned about the cost of energy, but this is a device which won't use all that much power. So don't worry about it, chill out. Okay, whoops, back to there. Your single coil placement. So if you're just using the single uh, coil device for the mini magic, you can place them side by side as you see on the left. You can stack them with the rough sides together and the smooth sides opposite each other. And you can hold it in place as is shown in the illustration with something like one of those um, sports sweat bandages or something similar to that, if that's comfortable. Or indeed above and below the area, because it depends upon how you're experiencing the problem, whether you need, as it shows on the left, a larger area being covered, whether you need to penetrate more deeply into the body, such as in the middle or in the right hand image. Now, if I was to use this for myself, and uh, let's say I wanted to attack, tackle something in my abdominal area, I would probably be using a stacked coils method to send the current, the, the magnetic pulse deeper into the body. Okay. If it's on a limb, uh, as is shown on the right, I would probably use the above and below. If it's a larger area, I would go side by side. Does that make sense? 
Okay, now we need to have a look at contraindications. Let me reiterate that PEMF from Miramate is safe, but there are some extreme cases whereby people shouldn't really use it. If you've had an organ transplant, the PEMF could actually boost your immunity to the point whereby there could be much more speedy organ rejection. That's a concern. So you have to think about what is going on with you and make your own decision based upon your own risk, definitely. If you're pregnant, we don't know how much work, and how, we don't know how much the PEMF would affect the fetus, um, the, the unborn child, or indeed the mother either. So there's little research done on that. So we'd rather err on the side of caution and say, don't do it. However, as science improves and we understand more about PEMF with the passage of time, then I'm pretty sure that um, there'll be you know, some different recommendations coming out. If you've got, let's say, a pacemaker put in, you don't want to disturb the, um, the frequency that which you require for the pacemaker to operate through interfering with pulsed electromagnetic fields. Okay, and if you've got, let's say, a metal plate in the part of the body, be careful too. However, for the vast majority of people, don't worry, don't be concerned. So think about the guidelines, do your own research. All self-healing is always at your own risk. However, Miramates has worked really, really hard to make this of the right power level to be as beneficial as is humanly possible using devices of this type. So it is, uh, it, it's therefore what I would use. Uh, and whether you agree with me, that's up to you, but it's definitely what I would choose to take into account all of my knowledge and the fact that I'm always, you know, using Spooky Suit, Mirror Mates and Huey products myself every day. Right, now this is the bit you've got to pay a lot of attention to. There are lots and lots and lots of PEMF devices on the market. All right, new ones come out all the time, just bubbling into existence but they don't have the right specifications with the body in mind. They have too much power or not enough power. They use the wrong frequency or waveform and therefore what's the point in trusting them? The PEMF offered by Miramates doesn't have any of those issues. And the devices have been designed to help you heal faster, okay? Now, the mat itself, as it says at the bottom there, is suitable to deal with any spillages which might occur on the surface, but don't try it in the bath. <laughs> Seriously, you know, don't submerge it in water. It's not for that. Now we're at that point in the day whereby I can try and answer a few of your questions and see, you know, what what's your concerns are. We've got two of these up here. Mini magic or big magic for stroke recovery. Uh, that's a good question. Now, I don't know much about strokes myself. I understand that's more to do with a circulatory problem inside the, inside the brain and something not working right there. So you need to do an awful lot of work uh, for self-healing using any other technology at your disposal. But I would also think about adding big magic uh, for underneath your head when you're in bed to try and provide some healing there. I would also consider if you know the location of where the precise problem is, you could probably use the mini magic coils, uh, either individually or stacked, to try and help the, help the problem. Now, I'm not a doctor. I've never tried to use uh, PEMF or Miramate products on a stroke before. So I've got questions there, not answers, but I hope the answer I've given you could possibly help. When you say spasm relief, does it work on involuntary muscle addition so it doesn't work on involuntary muscle in addition to skeletal muscle. Does the muscle type matter? I don't think that the muscle type does matter. It's just a question of doing the best you can to increase wellness within the body so that your issues start to decline bit by bit over time with a lot of work done to, to help yourself in the right direction. So definitely, definitely use it would be my recommendation. Can you use the mirror made coils over the eyes for pain? Uh, I think that's a very good question. I think it is probably, probably okay, but I'm not too sure 100% whether that is appropriate for eye pain. Uh, 
I suppose, intuitively speaking, you could possibly put the coils uh, on, on the temples. That might be more beneficial. And that might, you know, that could be helpful for you. So see, see what you can do and see what you can find out. I, I haven't tried to treat my eyes with it. So I don't know 100%. And I think it's okay if we can tell you that I don't know. How deeply does the big magic penetrate into the body in centimeters or inches? I would say lots of them. Uh, the precise distance, I don't know off the top of my head, but essentially would go very deeply into the body. Now, if we're talking about using the big magic, either you'll be lying in bed and, uh, and turning over in bed periodically, one assumes. And therefore, as you do turn over in bed as you, whilst you're sleeping, the magnetic effects will be felt through different regions of the body and therefore it will be a more holistic treatment anyway. If you're doing it sitting on a chair, yes, it is more important to think about how much goodness is getting into your body. But the fact of the matter is it will pretty much go through the, the whole width of the body to the most part, as far as I can tell. And also, if you do heal one part of the body because everything is connected, that will also have a knock on effect on other forms of healing systems within the body itself. So just essentially, essentially just use it. I don't know how deep into the body your condition is, but for the most part, the more the more of it you do, the better you'll get. OK, next one. I'd like to use the mini magic to help my son's shoulder injury, but he has a metal pin in his hip. OK, well, if you're if you're treating his shoulder. Then I wouldn't worry about the hip. If you had to treat the hip, then I wouldn't use PEMF. Uh, I think it's a question of using your common sense there and seeing how it operates, uh, but I don't think that you would need to worry too much. Sometime you'll need to exercise some caution, and if you're already seeing a professional medical practitioner about the about the hip, it might be worthwhile getting them to check it out once in a while. Okay, once every six months or three months as, as you're going through the healing process of the cell. Can you talk about the implant metal concern? I have a hip replacement. Okay. Um, are you thinking about treating the hip? In which case, maybe it's not for you. Okay, if you're thinking about treating another part of the body, then I would use the mini magic, because that's for localized areas, not generalized things. Okay, localized areas. And don't treat the area where the metal is, because that's not going to be good for you. Okay. I have spinal stenosis, but I can't sleep on my back. Is it effective for spine healing if I'm sleeping on big magic on my side? I would say quite probably. I think it will be definitely worthwhile doing. All right, and after a while, maybe after, you know, after a period of time, a few days, weeks, months, whatever it is, you will then find that something else has healed. Maybe even the, the, the connective tissue has received some healing as well, which will provide you with more structure maybe, which will then provide you with the ability to then start sleeping on your back. All right, but on the other hand, if you do sit in a chair, you would want to use your, your big magic on a chair during your, I know, your working day or whatever it is you're, you know, you're doing within your life. But it sounds like it could be a useful treatment for yourself alongside other forms of alternative wellness and anything that the doctor is helping you with. Uh, but I would probably be more inclined to think about using it during the day when you're in a chair rather than necessarily when you're lying on the bed, but there's nothing wrong also with taking it off your chair, putting it into the bed, go and get two of them, one for the bed, one for your chair. And just like let them run and just enjoy the experience of your, of your body getting better bit by bit. Can a mirror mate help prostate and hypothyroid? Uh, right. Uh, I think we'd have to research deeply the causes of prostate. I would be inclined to think about using it for the prostate, yes. Um, as far as the thyroid is concerned, I'm not too sure about the use of it on the thyroid area. But if you're, you know, if you're really worried, then it'd be worthwhile experimenting yourself. Uh, it does depend upon the cause. I think that the prostate is a better bet in reality, as far as treatment is concerned. But uh, if, if, I mean, I'm a bit reckless with my body, okay? If I think I need some healing done, I will experiment and I will try something out. Uh, not everyone is like that. Not everyone thinks that's, that's the right way of doing it. But if you know where your, your prostate enlargement is, 
then yes, shove the coils either side of that, um, held in place with some microporous tape and go about your day, definitely. Do you have to use this for a minimum of three hours? It's not comfortable to sleep when it's all night, the big magic. I think that depends upon how well your healing is going. At the moment, if your healing is so much that you can't sleep on it all night long, then go and use it on, on the chair you use to watch TV in the evening during the last two or three hours before bed. Okay, and fit it into the bed and you know, have one fitted on the bed anyway and have it turned on anyway, because it's and just let it do its thing. It'll be a bit like using um, an electric heated blanket. I know it's there, but I'm not going to worry about that when I'm trying to nod off and sleep. It's just like something you just like turn on, set, and forget. Always start off on the high power levels when you're treating, then use the lower power uh, afterwards for, uh, for, for maintenance. That would be a good way of doing it. Mirror mates for inguinal hernia. Uh, that's something that I would probably su suggest as being a, uh, a definite use for it because it helps all the cells, it helps the structures of all the organs. Uh, now the inguinal hernia could be caused by the fact that your abdominal muscles were originally weakened or weaker uh, for some reason or damaged for some reason, therefore the hernia happens, okay? So it could be worthwhile using the mirror mates to uh, give the, the cells in that area more strength and well-being, and also to possibly even help some immunity in the area, hypothetically. I, I'm not too sure about all of the science about that. There would definitely be something worthwhile to, to get and to use as a, as a regular thing. Can it repair kidney function? What it can do is it can provide healing for a wide variety of different organs within the body. Now, that could include your kidneys. It'll be a steady process. You don't just suddenly strap this thing onto your body and then, hey, presto, within 24 hours, you're, you know, doing that dance from singing in the rain. It's not going to be like that. But it can assist in the healing process. So you'd have to, even though you don't get healing straight away from it, you don't suddenly get cured straight away. You will have to do this as a lifestyle, as a way of life in order to help bring the body back to a state of wellness and therefore do yourself some good. So yes, I think it, it's just one of those things that you, you need to have in your little toolkit at home. You need to have your little drawer or box or so with things from Spooky 2, things from Mirror Mates in it, because there will be a time, there will always be a time when you need to go back to it. Okay. Uh, let's um, see, if I, see if I can stop sharing so you can actually see my face because that will be an awful lot more pleasant for you. Stop sharing. There we go. Okay. Uh, so what happens to metal in the body? Well, PEMF is a magnetic energy. It's like a very special electromagnet designed to pulse magnetism. So if there's something vaguely ferrous, vaguely magnetic inside the body, or vaguely conductive of a certain type, which is artificial, then that could either create physical movements or it could create an electrical charge, which could then have some, create some difficulties with whatever it is connected to. All right, interested in big mats for general health and fatigue mainly. In that case, just get it and use it. I mean, that's the, if, you've, if you've got fatigue of any particular type, there could be numerous bodily systems, okay? And, and to add PEMF will do some balancing to rather a lot of them. So again, it's just a question of get it and do it because it's, it's good for you full stop. How can I use mini magic or big magic for weight management to lose fat? Uh, I would say that you would want to use it an awful lot. Uh, and I would say that you would want to use it specifically on uh, the whole body in order to produce general wellness. It's not specifically a weight loss or weight management tool. It is a healing tool. But there is another thing I could say, and that is the there are some health conditions which can create weight gain. So it, it might possibly be that there could be some extra bit of wellness brought about by the use of the big magic, 
which could then help to readdress something, which could then make your body healthier to be able to process things well. You'll still have to do everything else as far as um, diet, nutrition, exercise, speaking to the right doctors and all the rest of that. But again, apply PEMF anyway, because it will provide more general wellness, which could then make the whole process of dealing with you know, what's going on inside the body a little bit easier. Okay, my own personal uh, experiences with uh, Miramates uh, is for sciatica. My sciatica uh, was so painful, I couldn't physically put a bowl of porridge into the microwave, which only involves tilting my back by a, like, you know, a, a centimeter, you know, a tiny quantity, just to move my arm forward to put my bowl of porridge into the microwave. And I couldn't do that, and I spilled the porridge everywhere, and it was terrible. Uh, so I started off using regular painkillers of, uh, of a strong ibuprofen type designed for muscles and joints and that sort of thing. And that provided me with some temporary relief to the point whereby I could start going to get my mini magic out of its box and plug it into a power bank and apply it to the other, either side of the spine in order to try and help that area. And within a, a, a relatively short period of time, things got a lot easier for me. And it wasn't just due to the painkillers. And then I, I was able to stop painkillers completely and just use um, Mini Magic for a, maybe an extra week or so. And then I was pretty much right as rain. I still have to look after myself because obviously I've got things wrong inside the back. And I'm getting older, so therefore I'm going to have many more things going wrong inside the back, which means that this is the right type of uh, technology for me right now. And possibly for any, anyone who's getting older could benefit from this stuff. Anyone. Really? Can you use the big magic while doing a rife or microcurrent treatment, provided it's not scanning? Because if you're scanning, then the PEMF pulse, pulsation could easily affect things inside the body, which your Generator X or whatever other form of bio scanner you're using could end up picking up, and that could then affect what it's receiving. Now, as far as treating with rife, treating with microcurrents. I don't think you got a problem there. All right, so I, I, I regularly use multiple treatments on myself. I, uh, over, during the night I'm running Hunt and Kill whilst doing Scalar, for instance. Uh, so that's, like, that's just my way of doing things at the moment with the protocol I've given myself. All right. Could I know the big mates can be used together with the mini one? Yeah, why not? The two coil can be used together with the four coils. Uh, if you wanted to use the two coils and the four coils, you'd have to have two mirror mates, two, two mirror mates mini magics. Thank you, John, for giving me a great alliteration there, okay. <laughs> All right, now the, the four coils, again, they can be placed side by side and placed front and back of whatever the problem is. Uh, and it's well worthwhile, uh, you know, playing with that and using that to the best of your ability. Now I've, now I've pretty much done everything within the questions and answers section. Now we've just got, well, actually, you don't know, one more has appeared. There we go. Right at the bottom then. So if I, if I use the big mat, could I just have the mat above the metal hip without overlap from the mat? Uh, I would, I think it depends on how far away it is horizontally. Like if, if, if this is my body, and I've got a metal plate there, and this is the mat. I wouldn't want it to be too close to where the, the metal is. I'd already want to have a fair, 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 fair distance because it's not there to heal the bit that's got the metal in it. Okay, you don't use it on the metal. You can use it on everything else, but not if you've got a metal implant inside you, you don't want it to corrode. You don't want it to vibrate. You, you know, you, you want to make sure you're safe. This is a contraindication and therefore, you've got to exercise caution when thinking about this kind of stuff. Now into the um, chat section. Let's go to the top and see what we've got there. All right. Can it be used together with a scalar? If yes, how? Well, so long as you're not using it for, as long as you're not using the scalar with the um, scalar digitizer for scanning, then yes, you just lie on your mat in bed with the scalar boxes, uh, head and tail to you, okay? One near you lined up to your feet and the other one near your head. And then you can have the whole field, which might actually get some strength and benefit 
and also more human stuff coming into it from the PEMF mat. So just run it, just do it. Can be used for skiing problems. Uh, you mean skin problems like boils and acne. Uh, I will be more inclined to use some um, direct rife method using Spooky 2 products, such as the um, XM generator or generator X to try and kill the, the, the pathogen directly. But also, if you then got your PEMF mat as well, you can then use that to help to increase healing after you've done the killing. Once you've killed off the bacteria, mold, spores, pathogens, and pus, you can then think about applying PEMF to provide body healing, which might then help the immune system of the skin ecosystem to help fight off other things, hypothetically. Okay, so that is something that's worthwhile thinking about. How about knee lubrication? My dad here lost his knee lubrication material between the bones in the knee. Is there a chance to get it healed? He is considering to do surgery. I would say hypothetically, yes, but it is a hypothetical because the knees themselves, if there's, I mean, you're talking about knee lubrication, you're talking about the soft um, fluidic cushioning between, between the bones. All right, so there could be lots of reasons why that's lost, including things like things in your diet and nutrition and also other pathogenic things inside the body, which is stopping the body from acting appropriately to um, heal the area. Okay, so there's other this hyphen ease conditions inside your father which is stopping him from having the the soft squishy fluid between the two bits of bone would it be worthwhile applying pmf coils either side of the knees anyway yes because there is damage there and if there's damage there's a need for healing and it needs to be a way of life to try and get the healing back so i would say two regular mini magics with um two single coils on each so that you can have the left knee and the right knee being treated at the same time and running that for as long as you can during the day as you are able to within the constraints you've got okay does that make sense can it be used for ankle and for acne and skin? yeah we've dealt with the acne in the skin it's used tooth gum infection Okay, well, my understanding of the uh, of the PEMF is that for that, I mean, for that, what I would do is stacked coils. If you know where the infection is, okay, if you know it's there, because that's where you've got the pain, okay? If there was a way in which you could put the two stacked coils with the rough sides together uh, and stack them and shove them both onto the area held in place with a strip of microporous tape, in order to keep them there, then basically, you know, go for it. Let that let that do its work again for as long as you can during the working day or and and or overnight if you can sleep with something taped to your face, which would be for me personally a, a bit challenging. I have bought a whole set, including the mini, which will reach me soon. I have just missed that. Whether the big mates can be used together with the mini? Yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, as I say, just lie on the mat or sit on your chair with the mat on your back, whatever, and then use your coils appropriately on your local area. These are specifically chosen to be low power devices so that your cells can get the benefits of it. I don't think you need to worry too much. I think that there won't be too much interference between the two fields. And I do believe that there'll be a general sense of improvements and wellness with the passage of time. Right. Could I use the mini or big magic to heal high blood pressure? How can I do it? You just use it. Okay, it improves circulation. I would go for the big magic for that because you want to cover a lot of the body area and just try and get things better, get things well, improve vitality, improve wellness. And that will also affect your blood pressure too. 
the way I understand it, is improving circulation. So it's going to take your high blood pressure and it's going to put it somewhere where it's needed and more useful and all the bits of your body which aren't getting the blood because maybe your veins or your arteries are getting a bit clogged up will then still get some extra healing as well. So it's genuinely a very positive thing. Yeah, someone else has just added uh, from the John White account for skin problems, we may suggest Miramate's ray gun. And the ray gun is useful because it just, um, it's, it looks a bit like a gun, but it's all, it's got a light in it, which is a VUV light, which gives off a variety, a very special variety of um, ultraviolet, which kills things in, in the skin and under the first like layer or so of the skin. So if there's a localized issue, you can then use low power on a Miramate ray gun and that will then be useful to sort out the problem. Okay, that's just another way of doing it. However, if it's like, you know, you've got lots all over your face and all over your body, then you can use a combination between the ray gun and also the mirror makes the big magic and to try and bring about more wellness. How does the mini compare to the PEMF coil attachable to the Spoofy 2 generators? Well, the mini has two coils. The PEMF coil, which attaches the Spooky 2 generators, has it. And the Spooky 2 one has been principally designed to be used alongside plasma in order to try and focus the energy of plasma on a particular location. So if you've got like a cancer in the neck, you have your tube on one side of the neck, your PEMF coil on the other, to try and bring the energy of the plasma to the precise location where, the, where that lack of wellness, that illness, that damage, that disease is located. It can also be used as an imprinting tool. Uh, and it's also very versatile with the Spooky 2 generators, but it's got a different waveform. It's used in a different way. And therefore, it's very different. I mean, I think we use, um, isn't it sine wave we use for the Spooky 2 PEMF, whereas we have square wave for the mini. And the square wave for the mini is actually really, really useful for what it's useful for. So it's specifically designed for a specific thing. If I, if I have a big magic, then do I still need a mini magic? Well, that's up to you, okay? Mini magic is for acute, namely relatively short-term conditions. I mean, let's say I sprain my ankle, that's an acute problem. If my ankle is permanently in that sprained state, then maybe I'd want to use the big magic on it, okay? If it's a localized area, let's say I've just done some damage to my elbow and I want to have coils either side, then I'm going to use the mini. And also the mini I can just about subtly wear under my clothes. And I can still go for a walk around a country house or go shopping and uh, feed the cat and everything else whilst using it. But I can't do that with the big magic, which is only for when I'm sedentary, when I'm seated, or when I'm lying down in bed. Should I really need to replace the coil every three months? you're gonna be given a coil tester. Use the coil tester, and if it starts to not give off a signal, then you order more. They are a replaceable bit, okay? The, the, the main unit, the pulse unit, that's, uh, that's gonna last a, a really rather long time. But the coils, because they've got wires and filaments in it, and they're very actively being used with all the pulses, they can wear out. It's worthwhile thinking about, okay, when you bought it, when you started using it, and when three months will be due, and up to that time, maybe a few weeks or a few, you know, or indeed a month earlier, start using your coil tester to make sure they're still working properly, and then think about ordering more coils when required. Does that make sense? Okay. Would a protective lead mat, such as using x-ray procedures to keep mat from inter interfering with metal implants as HIPAA needs? Uh, I don't know. I don't know whether the PEMF would penetrate a lead mat. Uh, we've got um, one of John White's little elves answering that question now. Now, you mentioned laying on the mat on the spine area. Can the head and brain area, as long as there's no metal in the mouth, such as a metal caps on root canals? Quite probably. I think it would be worthwhile trying it and resting your head upon it uh, and, um, and seeing what you can do. 
I think the likelihood of there being opportunities for healing in the head areas is very strong. How about the matter of big magic? Would that need to be replaced? That's a larger, more solid uh, form of construction. And it's less likely to need replacing. But again, it's going to be used. You can be lying on it, sitting on it. That's going to create bending and tension of the various wires and the coils inside it. So there, there may come a time when it won't be as good. And then you may need to buy another one, hypothetically. But it'll take longer than the three months for the tiny little coils that goes with the uh, you know, with the mirror, mirror, mirror makes mini magic. <laughs> Do you have any video showing how to use the big magic for the first time? I think there must be some out there, but it's, just, but it's, it's literally so simple. You, you've got a, a mains cable, plug that in. You've got the cable that comes out of the mat. You plug that into the box, set it to power level two, plug it into the mains, and then it's, it's working. You know, it's, it's a mirror mate project, a product. Therefore, it's going to be quick. It's going to be easy. It's going to be reliable. It's going to be comparatively affordable by comparison with all the other fun things which are out there on the market at the moment. So it, it, it won't require all that much work. And, and basically, get in touch with me on Facebook uh, if you've got a problem. How long should I use it for? As long as you can. You know, you're in bed for eight hours every night. That's eight hours worth of treatment on every 24-hour period. Maybe you spend two or three hours watching TV at the end of the day. So take it off your bed and put it on the chair you used to watch TV, get an extra couple of hours that way. And the more of it you do, the better. Now, obviously monitor how you're feeling, monitor how it is, how it's affecting you. But I would say that do it for long periods of time. It's there to be used for long periods of time. It's a low current device to be used for long periods of time. So just do it. Don't think, okay, well, I've done 20 minutes of it, therefore I should be all better now. And then when you're not, uh, like making complaints on the internet, that will be wrong. Okay, you've got to be disciplined as long as you can use it for. Does that make sense? Uh, if you think about like, uh, let's say, let's say there's 24 hours, well, there is 24 hours in the day, all right? And one third of that is eight hours. So one third of your time can be spent in treatments under the big magic, okay? But you wanna try and get more in if you can. If you do work from home, then there's nothing to say you shouldn't from nine to five, have it on your chair, and then just get out of your chair at lunchtime to go and have lunch and just come back to it. Okay, yes, I think that the big magic could possibly help with some variety of metabolism, yes. But, that, but it certainly would not be the only thing that you would need to deploy in order to lose weight. Okay, if you're doing everything else right for your body, then you add Miramate to it, and that will have, add extra health and wellness to speed up the process. Now, this is obviously something that's concerning you a lot, and, in the, and that's like truly understandable, all right? But do the best you can, all right? Miramate is about Miramate. There's other people out there who specialize in information about diets, nutrition, exercise, cardio, um, and all that kind of stuff. So you need to build up your knowledge about all those other things. Then there's some um, supplements and you know vitamins and all kinds of other fun stuff which could help you, all right? As well as calorie control, intermittent fasting, and a wide variety of other techniques specifically designed to help provide a much more lean body. But adding Miramate to it on top of your cardio, your weightlifting, your this, that, and the other, uh, your vitamins, your minerals, your diet, nutrition, your calorie counting, your meetings at Weight Watchers and everything else, then that will speed up the process. And then after a year, you'll be able to look back at yourself and think, yeah, man, you know, I, I can look down on myself without looking down on myself, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I think that, that, that add things to it. I mean, I may be a very, um, you know, a very passionate person for Spooky Two, for Mirror Mates, for Hiwi. And I'm using this stuff every night and every day. And when I'm working uh, at home, because I'm lucky enough, blessed enough to have a job which I can do from home, I'm receiving Spooky Two all the time every day. That doesn't mean to say I've stopped my nutritional regime, my herbal regime, my exercise regime. Okay, I can't just plug myself into a frequency generator or put myself on a PEMF mat and then, hey presto, that solved my problem, like getting a, a lamp with a genie in it saying, I'll, I'll fulfill your wishes for you. It's, it's, it's not going to be an instant. If you're someone who's like me, 
who felt the need to get into this stuff because you've got health challenges. You have to be doing what I've had to do, and that's to how to learn to live a healing lifestyle to the best of your ability, covering as many different things as you can research and you can grow on. And all we can do here at the moment on this presentation is talk to you about just use it. Just use mini magic. Just use the big magic because these things really, really, really do help. And there's science behind it. And as I said, you know, it's used, it's used in, by people who are spending money on horse races. On horses for racing, I should say, okay? Hello, does tooth implant would be something to avoid with the mini? Uh, if there's metal, then you might want to think carefully. Now, I've probably still got some lead amalgam in my teeth, which the dentist didn't take out. So, but I'm still not going to worry about that too much. If there was like something like a screw go, going into my, into my gums, then I probably wouldn't want to do uh, PEMF on my face because I'd want to avoid that area as far as I possibly could. Is there any concern about external metals such as knee braces? Uh, right, then the question would be, is there any penetrating metal going into the body from the knee brace? Because if there is, then I would be careful. If there isn't, then I wouldn't worry. Does microgen you do the same as me when placing the pads on the target area? No. Microgen is a completely different technology. Right? Microgen uses electrical currents going through your body. Mini magic uses magnetic fields, which have a different set of, of um, priorities, a different set of functionality. They operate in a different way. They have different properties. So you're looking at two different things. Now, I'm not saying that there won't be an extra form of healing you're, you're going to get as a result of using the microgen, because the microgen is a pretty wonderful device. But what I would say is that these are different things with different properties. And you have to think about the right tool for the right job. And then sometimes you might be in a bit of a state of blind panic. You want to throw anything you can at your body and, and, and that's, that's okay, but it won't necessarily be right for you. So I've got uh, the microgen. I've also got the, uh, the wonders of the mini magic. Uh, for my various different issues and locations and, and local stuff and so on and so forth. Different tools for different purposes. Can you use a grounding strip whilst doing PEMF treatment? I don't see why not. So long as there's no interference between your grounding uh, device and your and your body, um, I, I think that would probably, probably be quite a good thing. You probably end up getting some even more benefits from that. I'm, um, I'm assuming you're talking about using it at night, not using a grounding mat on top of the big magic, because then there's a possibility that the magnetism might be lowered because the magnetic force has got an extra layer to go through before it reaches your body. You can't do that. Now, if it was something like, a, I don't know, a band attached to your ankle and then wired into some kind of grounding thing, then that would be a different situation altogether, and that would probably be quite a good thing. Now, when it comes to the, uh, the knee brace, you said no penetration, but it cages the entire leg. Okay, so in that case, I would probably slip your coils inside the brace and, and just see whether that's comfortable, because obviously you've got an injury there. You've got to look after the comfort of the injury. Uh, but yes, I would, I would definitely think you could probably do that. Now, if it was um, the big magic, then you could probably put your leg on top of that, but there would possibly be some kind of interference from the metal of the brace itself and the energy coming out of the mat from what I would guess. How much that would be, I don't know. I mean, when we're trying to treat ourselves with complementary or 
alternative uh, healthcare, we have to do some experimentation ourselves and see how our, how our body and how our condition reacts. Okay, so I would probably even think about both. And on top of that, even if you can't provide PEMF healing to that particular area using the big magic, you can probably provide healing for the rest of your body, which is probably still in shock because of the injury. And I think it will make some sense to do yourself some good to try and use the big magic and also therefore the mini magic specifically inside the brace and takes onto around the, uh, the skin area where you've got the actual problem. Does that make sense? Okay. Right. Now, I'm going to read this um, out. This is uh, the message in the chat from uh, John White's account. It says, the results depend upon each customer's health condition. We suggest you can insist on using to check your condition. So basically go to your doctor. Duration of PEMF treatment varies from the system you are using, but basically based on the intensity of the PEMF devices, and severity of the illness. So if you've got a very serious long-term whole body illness, you treat for as long as you can, for as many days as you can, as many weeks as you can, months, years, whatever. If you are using a non-portable device with high intensity, you can get results within 10 minutes a day. With lower intensity devices, you can use it for as long as you want or even overnight during sleep. For general benefits, we recommend that you do treatment with at least 30 minutes a day to maximize overall benefits. If you're suffering from chronic conditions or the conditions are severe, you can lengthen the time of treatment to get better results. It is wrong to stop using your PEMF device once you don't experience symptoms. You should keep doing treatments with PEMF until the underlying cause of your health problem gets resolved. And this is why it's different. Okay, this is me interjecting here. This is why it's different using PEMF as opposed to using allopathic medicine. Because allopathic medicine goes in, stops the symptoms, but there may be something else underlying. Uh, complementary health, um, physic, or alternative health is much more to try and work out what the underlying cause is and to find solutions to the treatment of the underlying cause. So it's something you should be using all the time, every night. Every night you go to bed, lie on your mat. Whenever you're watching TV, sit on the, on the chair with it on your back, provide yourself with some PEMF, make it a lifestyle, make it a lifestyle, make it a lifestyle. PEMF is a completely safe and natural treatment, so continuing treatments over time will ensure proper recovery and prevent many future health problems. That's an important point because it's not just a question of, oh my God, I'm sick, I want to be well. It's a question of what do I want to be in five years time, 10 years time? I mean, I, I shudder to think what my health will be like in 10 years time, okay? Because I've had a very bad health history, very bad indeed. That's why I'm grateful for all this stuff, okay? But getting the PEMF mat and just using it, it will just do you some good. And that's why it's suggested that everyone gets themselves a PEMF man because that's our PEMF device. Even if you're healthy, even if you're well, even if you've got no problems going on with you. If you need to avoid the face area, use the PEMF mask and just try and treat the rest of the body because if it is possible to sort out underlying causes, then that will probably help whatever is going on with the face area. All right, every system in the body is interconnected. You know, it's got just pipes and valves and tubes and this, that, and the other, and systems connecting to other systems. So the more you work at dealing with underlying problems, the better. Could mini magic or big magic help improve stomach digestive problems of elderly and enhanced intestinal movement? Quite possibly. Remember, it's about treating for the underlying causes and uh, just genuine, generally helping the, the whole process. So that could be good. But I would also suggest looking into help, uh, helping your elderly person with things like zapping and rifing, 
because you know using zapping can help to remove some bad things from the digestive tract. When I first started using my XM generator as a zapper and used of the copper handheld cylinders, and I set the generator to run the whole bark frequency, and I did a four hour treatment, seven minutes on, 20 minutes off, seven minutes on, 20 minutes off. Um, the next day, there was so much evil coming out of my body that my neighbors thought that a sewer had burst open. That's how bad my body was, and that's how good zapping can be when it comes to blockages in your digestive tract but then after you've done some of that maybe you want to apply the PEMF to try and boost the general health and well-being of the body but it is about living the healthy lifestyle okay is there any limitations for a five-year-old I don't think the PEMF would be too negative for, for, for a small child rifling on the other hand is different but generally assisting the um, the functionality of the body so as it can fight its own own battles would be a different situation altogether wouldn't it it's a different tool which has different properties being used in a different way for a different purpose so it could easily be well worthwhile using it on the young i i, I, I would probably think the five to seven is probably a good age to start these things all right Okay. Can you use PMF for cataracts? If so, where would you place the mini magic coils? Um, provided, of course, you haven't got any metal in your head. You might be able to. My instinct would be probably either side, either side of the temple areas. Um, I, I, I mean, I've got some sensitivity with my eyes, so I tend to shy away from questions associated with the eyes, funnily enough because I, I can't stand the idea of anything affecting them. But um, I would have thought possibly the temples, uh, that would make some sense. Or indeed just um, place the mat under your head when you're in bed, the, the, the big magic, because, the, 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 because cataract isn't just one condition, is it? Okay, it's something which is connected to other systems in the body. So you could do localized with the mini, as well as doing more general with the big magic and helping there to be more growth with the passage of time. But cataracts themselves require an awful lot of work. And I don't know whether you'd still need to have surgery and then use your PEMF in recovery afterwards, uh, which is also a possibility. That's a very, because hmm. cataracts is like uh, some, like some of the red blood cells are entering into the, into the lens itself, isn't it? So that's probably more a big magic job with a bit of localized stuff, if we're talking ex exclusively from the point of view of PEMF. But I would, I would actually, if we're just looking at this from, um, from Spooky to Mirror Mate and Kiwi, I would also be using technology from Spooky to or Kiwi Microgen in order to try and provide more healing to the problem and the problem area within the whole body. And also use PEMF to just boost physical wellness as far as you can. Uh, yeah, I think that will make a lot of sense. I mean, you've got a lot going on which can cause cataracts. So it's, it's, it's challenging. Yes, you can use big magic whilst using scalar while sleeping. Uh, I use Spooky Sue Scalar um, when I'm running Hunt and Kill by contact method overnight at the moment in my current state of development with this technology and I have no problems with it and pathogens still get killed. Uh, I think that yes, that's perfectly doable. If my daughter's seven years old sleeping on the mats, could the big magic help her height growth? Hypothetically, it would help to redress some of the causal factors getting in the way of her health and well-being. Not necessarily everything, because it depends upon what it is that's causing the problem and what effect the PEMF would have upon that particular problem. So it's not a question of, I mean, yes, the, this division of Spooky 2 is called Miramate because it is miraculously quick, it's useful, it's easy to understand, okay? Uh, but that doesn't mean to say the moment you plug in and turn on, you're going to be cured. This is a long-term 
uh, protocol you have to bring yourself into. And also, uh, again, we've got a wonderful addition here from our helper behind the scenes, who says PEMF therapy can help people be more energetic, even though they don't have any disease. Okay, because it's increasing your wellness, your health of body, and it's therefore just generally good for you. And therefore, it's worthwhile having. Because every human body has got, you know, we're exposed to toxicity every day, we got Toxic things affecting our emotions, affecting our body, affecting uh, it's in the food we eat, the water we drink, and, and everything. So it's worthwhile helping things out. Yeah, I think there are cataract frequencies in, in Spooky too, which means that you could um, treat whole body, your right wrist or left ankle with that. Uh, or indeed, you can place the pads uh, for Spooky too, or might, yeah, Spooky too would be beneath the neckline, left shoulder and right shoulder. Uh, because then that will provide some current to the head, but it won't provide so much going through that it will destroy the eyeballs, the brain, and, and the thyroid, which you don't want. Uh, with Hiwi Microgen, there will be cataract frequencies within the software there as well, and you could use the, um, the gold cable, which is for lower power, and, uh, and that would be something you could use TENS pads above the neckline closer to the area and some of the current would go through and provide some extra beneficial frequency healing there for you. All right, so yes, there's, uh, there's ways in which you can use all of this stuff. And it's useful. It is actually useful technology. It takes a bit of discipline, it takes a bit of um, dedication, but it's definitely doable and it definitely will help in my humble opinion. Hmm. Right. So we've covered rather a lot there. Before we bring this presentation to a close, can I ask, is there anything else that you need to know right now? Let me know, type something in. Or is all well here in the world of mirror mates. Ah, oh, have you discontinued the mirror mate light pad? No, Craig is being answered there. Okay, that's fine. Would two big magics end to end be the best way to treat the whole body? I think it would be a very clever, very intelligent way of doing the whole body because then you can get much more work done uh, and it will all work perfectly. So I'll set them all up, high power, let it run, sleep on it, and you will feel good. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Is anyone doing research for all of these devices? Thank you. Yes, I'm sure there are. Who they are, I don't know. But... I know as a result of lived experience over five years or more, that electronic devices can successfully be used to assist health and well-being. I have visual evidence of that, which has happened to me, things I've seen. I have tangible evidence and I have my lifestyle itself, which has improved a lot as a result of using all this stuff. So it's worthwhile and it's good for you. Okay, now don't forget you've got a, um, in fact, I go quickly back to the presentation itself so that we can move away to share screen.